you haven't already, it's time to start thinking about what sorts of meals you're going to do over the holiday season. And a lot of times we think dinner, but brunch is a great option. Yes, and I've enjoyed working with the Got Milk campaign because milk makes Christmas breakfast more merry and bright. As you can see As here, see it's very bright. And that's because it has nine essential nutrients. And one of those is protein, and it actually has eight grams of protein, which is more protein than an egg. So most people don't think of milk having a lot of protein, but no. it does have a lot of protein. Okay. And those other nutrients in there help keep our bones strong as well as build strong bones as right. well for kids. And also good for healthy blood pressures. So lots of good nutrients come out of milk. So you want to make sure you keep that on your holiday breakfast table. It also creates a breakfast powerhouse as far as nutrition if you're using my plate. And so we've talked a lot about my plate, making sure that dairy is on there because it gives nine essential nutrients through, throughout the, the meal. So some ways you can do that. How can you get milk into your holiday breakfast time? One thing you can do is have a made-to-order smoothie bar. Those are super cool looking. Yes, and this is a, just a really fun way. People are in the kitchen anyway. Right. And if you have a Christmas morning breakfast or any type of holiday breakfast throughout the season, you can have people create their own favorite smoothies. And by using that fat-free milk, you're only getting 80 calories, and it's providing those same nine essential nutrients as other milks do. So I just have frozen fruit, and you could have a whole bunch of jars of different um, types of frozen right. fruit, and that way it's already pre-portioned for mm -hmm. people. You could also have different kinds of yogurt, whatever you want to do, right. but people like it when it's kind of like a homemade yeah. individual just for you because you feel special that way. And it gives you something to do too. Yes, yes. It keeps everyone busy. Yeah, and it's just fun and you can have a little blender glass so everybody can mm -hmm. do their own. Rinse it out between. We're making something and cool here. Yes, and this is an elegant bacon broccoli quiche. Yum. So again, made to order so that you have an individual portion, right. which is nice for a special holiday breakfast. So I've used these little pie plates. You can also use half pint wide mouth jars. Okay. They are oven safe as well. So what you're gonna do is actually have some pie crust and okay. cut it to the right size. And so all I do for that is actually I tip it over and kind of imprint oh, it on gotcha. the crust. And then I just do a little bit extra so that I can get it sure. to go up the sides a little bit. And so what you're going to do is crack four eggs. Okay. See how good your egg cracking skills right, are no here. no shells so far. Yes, that's good. One down. <laughs> we don't want any shells, Kenny. And then we're gonna add one cup of fat-free milk to that, and then you're going to creak, the and then you're going to whisk that together All right. along with some cheese. So this is the the low-fat version of cheddar cheese. So that's going to still give us some protein and calcium. And then this is kind of a magic secret. This is the broccoli and cheese. Um, frozen package that you can find, 10 ounces of frozen oh, broccoli yeah. and cheese sauce. You cook it up in the microwave, okay. and then you actually add it to that mixture that mix you're going to do. There. Yep, so that's going to give you a little bit more cheese, plus it gives the, um, the, broth, or the vegetables in there as well. Sure. And so you can also saute up your vegetables along with your turkey bacon. I'm using turkey bacon okay. today. Okay. And so I've got your favorite mushrooms oh, I love that. and onions. Load it up. So you're just going to load that up on the bottom. And once you get done with that, all you would do is pour that egg mixture in so it's evenly in between each of them. And then you're going to bake it for about 30 minutes mm -hmm. at 350 degrees and you have a festive holiday meal that is going to provide you with nine essential nutrients.